Well, good morning, everyone. This is a quick report back, but it's also a call to action. Uh, as you know, we've been working in this area called Sprite. Uh, Sprite is a community uh, just northeast of Pretoria, or southeast of Pretoria, in fact, where there are a lot of people in the community that are hungry, that are uh, misfortunate, that are vulnerable during this time. And so what we are doing is we're working with a team of volunteers to capture the data, the information about this community. Uh, to date, we have over 2,000 people's contact details, um, their identity numbers, etc. What this is going to allow us to do is to work with these people in a more effective way to ensure that if we distribute food, if we distribute relief or, or finances, we do that in an orderly and structured way. Now, uh, we've set up a system that allows anybody from anywhere in the world, really, to assist us in doing this. Uh, the way that you would do that is by joining our online volunteer community uh, that is busy, busy capturing this data uh, of this community. Uh, very simply, what will happen is, uh, in a second here, I'm going to share with you a link of how you can find out more information. Uh, that link is going to take you to an instructions page. That instructions page will give you detailed instructions on how to go about assisting in this regard. It really is a fairly simple process. Uh, what you will do is you will add your name to an Excel spreadsheet to a register. Uh, that list that you add your name to will indicate which of the contact details you will uh, enter. And you'll find a list such as this of, of scanned documents where uh, community members have provided their contact details. And you'll be able to contribute in capturing those contact details. Now, uh, in order to make that as simple as possible, uh, what we've done is we've created an online survey tool that allows you to enter those contact details straight into an online database. And so you don't need to have very sophisticated um, data capturing or data management skills. It's really as simple as filling in a form on your cell phone or on a laptop. Um, a teenager can do it. Uh, an old person can do it. Anybody can do it that wants to assist. Now, as I've mentioned, as of this morning, uh, we have a whole number of individuals whose data has already been entered into the system. You can see there, 2,175 individuals uh, data has been added and really it is a simple process and so the the purpose of this message today is to say we do need an additional assistance um, individuals that want to assist in this regard can simply use these links uh, to assist us the first link here https uh, colon forward slash forward slash bit dot ly forward slash Sprite data info, uh, Sprite data info. That, that link over there will take you to the instructions page. From there, you will get a, a second link, which is this one here, Sprite data volunteer. That will allow you to enter your volunteer information. And that will take you then to a fourth link, or third link, which takes you to the data lists. Uh, on those data lists, you'll be able to see the numbers that need to be captured. And then this final link here will take you to the data capturing um, online database. So if you have uh, some time today and you want to do one page or maybe two pages or 10 pages, you can use this first link here. If you have friends or family who are willing to assist in this regard, you can share with them uh, this video or the link and they can use that to get the instructions. Um, if we all uh, ask one person in our network to assist, uh, we'll get that data captured very quickly. And as I said, this is available anywhere in the world. So you might be in the US or in Europe or in Asia or in Australia. If you can assist in this regard, we would appreciate that. Um, I'm going to repeat that link uh, one more time for convenience. And I will post it as well on the video. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash BIT dot LY forward slash Sprite data info. Sprite is the name of the community. And that link will take you to the online instructions. Thank you for your help.